Hello there gang, Devere here, playing a little bit of Fighter of Evil, and it really will be a little bit, spoiler alert, uh, option wise, pretty much you don't get any, your controls are not rebindable, it just tells you what you can do, as limited as it is, there is no controller support of any sort, so it is keyboard only. This password thing is if you, apparently if you get through some of the levels, you get a password to continue on, but there's no direct save. So let's dive on with a new game here. So we get this little cartoony thing. Let's press enter to continue the hotel. And here I am. Someone called Evil Spirit Fighters. Which is weird, because that looks like it says F-O-E. Or F-O-F. Yes, dear, I was bothering you. <laughs> you sure were, Grandma. You were... Hotel, hotel staff is off their heads. Visitors are held hostage. Set them free, but remember that it is not. It is a hotel, neither armory. So you could have some troubles with ammo. Well, there's never true a word spoken there. Why we couldn't have just used E to go through the menus? No idea. So press E to enter doors. So it's a, as you can see, it's a platform shoot 'em up, which would appear to kill. The people we're rescuing. So it's uh, the first thing is the controls, incredibly sloppy. And uh, here's the next thing. There's some sort of random bullet deviation on the guns. Oh, psh, again, those sloppy and precise control. Oh, I keep forgetting that ev everything resets. Everything that is, apart from your your ammo. See there, I was point blanking and it still missed. Are you choking? Oh, I'm a dead again. I mean, maybe I'm not supposed to fight? Yeah, yeah, okay, get on, because of what we really want in a game like this is a big, long, drawn out introduction and a death screen. We have to go through this drivel every time as well. So yeah, so you, you platform shoot them up where you try not to do your shooting. I know you will see soon enough. That's not very po po possible either. Oh dear. Come on, it's right in front of you. How are you missing? Are you drunk? Or was the developer drunk when he started trying to program this? You can only reload if you've got a full amount of magazines. If it's not, if it hasn't got a positive number, you'll have to do it yourself. Yeah, because something point blank in front of you is so easy to miss. Oh, come on! Seriously! So, platform shooter where you, you want to avoid shooting as much as possible, and you want to avoid platforming as much as possible as well, because of how sloppy these controls are. Oh. And it's a shame because the visuals are the visuals are really nice. Yeah, and uh, I love the clean graphical style. It's also quite possible thanks to those shell casings in the corner the floor. It's quite possible to end up running yourself onto a mine because they've become covered in <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it, but there's a Oh really? Come on man. It's a slight audio glitch. I don't know if that's coming out. Oh, we've finally got the Uzi anyway. If that comes out on the re audio recording, it's just to my system, but there's a slight click. So pretty much everything in this game kills you in one hit, apart from bullets. <laughs> what? Spikes, bats, all that, they'll kill you in one hit. Bullets? Nah, you totally can tank a few of those. See, again, it really looks like we're executing these people. We're really part of the dark forces. And here's some more combat. So this is going to go well with the health I've got. I'll watch out for that. And you've got to watch out you don't end up sliding onto that mine. Because these controls are so sloppy. It's very easy. Not a lot you can do to avoid it. See? You just tank the damage. There seems to be no way of getting your health back. I hit everything around it. Apart from the thing I'm aiming at. See there? I can't reload. Because there's only seven bullets. And if I die... Well, you'll see soon enough. Yeah, no ammunition. That's all we've got now for the rest of the game. 
Are you kidding me? Oh, and I have to hit reload there as well because it can't figure out how to reload in less than full numbers. Dear Lord. So I can't probably win this. Con I, I probably can't win this, this battle with him now. Can we? Oh, yes. But we can't win this one, especially with most of the bullets bloody missing. <laughs> We've got one bullet left to do all of this with. What a joke. What kind of idiot thought that was a good gameplay idea? Having all the traps reset every time you die in a room, but not your ammo counter to take the traps on with. On top of these awful sloppy controls. And if there was controller support, that might make it a little bit more crisp. I, I doubt it. This is really... See, see there, it's almost... If you're not looking, I can try and just try and avoid the combat at this point. I'm trying to at least get into the next room. Perhaps I'll be a... Oh, well. Yeah, well, that, this, this is going to go well. Um, oh, again, that's my the sloppy controls. Don't you go jumping up. Come on, up. Oh, oi. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's, there's hardcore and then there's badly coded. Oh, well, we've got some. Well, that's going to make a massive difference, isn't it? Nine bullets. See if we can see what we can do. Because he's point blank in front of me, I'm missing him. Oh, that's it, all my bullets are gone. Excellent, excellent. Now, so there's been no other way of refilling your ammunition, no way of refilling your life bar. Just absolute bare minimum effort, despite the nice, clean, crisp visuals and the rather average audio. And that irritating little click sound on top of it all, just to really grate your teeth. So anyway, gang, yeah, we'll conclude our dealings at this point. Fighter of Evil. Oh, yes, F-O-E, it does say it right in there. Just very little to commend it. Absolute, this has been absolute bare minimum effort job chucked together by the developers. I, I think I got this on a bundle anyway. I certainly wouldn't recommend buying it. At least if you had at least if there was some crisp controls, that would at least make it more something game over never before in gaming have i been so happy to see that screen so this is one for the quick uninstall and you honestly go with a free flash site you'll find better than this easily so anyway gang thanks for taking time to watch the video i hope you found it useful and entertaining in some way and as ever don't forget to like comment subscribe let me know you're alive i shall see you all next time bye for now